Welcome back to Read Aloud Children's Books. Today I'm going to read Amelia Bedelia Tries Her Luck by Herman Parrish and the pictures are by Lynn Averill. This is the last Amelia Bedelia book in the set that I own and so the next book will be a new, a new book that I haven't read yet. Hope you like it. Please remember to subscribe to my page and hit like if you like it and comment on a book that you would like me to read and I'll try and find it and post it. Amelia Bedelia was getting ready to go to school when Crash! I'm sorry, said Amelia Bedelia. Accidents happen, sweetie, and said her mother. The important thing is that you are not hurt. At school, Amelia Bedelia told her friends about the accident. Yeah. Mommy. <laughs> You're in trouble, said Clay. Breaking a mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years, said Amelia Bedelia. That's almost my whole life. Even worse, said Rose. Today is Friday the 13th. Bad luck gets double, double today. That's 14 years, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll have bad luck forever. Amelia Bedelia, said Joy. You can change your luck. Sit down, bud. That's right, said Heather. My dad always says, see a penny, pick it up all the day, you'll have good luck. Amelia Bedelia picked up Penny. Put me down, said Penny. Heather means a penny coin, not a penny person. Back up. Yeah. At recess, the whole class tried to help Amelia Bedelia change her luck. They searched for a four-leaf clover. They looked for a lucky horseshoe. They tried to find a rabbit's foot. The playground didn't have any of those things. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia said Clay. We struck out. You are out of luck. Da, da. Mm -hmm. Amelia Bedelia made a plan. Da, da. If she could not find luck, she would make her own. Yeah, yeah. Two, two rabbit's feet equals double luck. Twelve leaf clovers is three times luck. Four horseshoes is four times luck. Amelia Bedelia's teacher, Mrs. Edwards, saw her drawings. She also saw that Amelia Bedelia was upset. Are you all right? asked Miss Edwards. No, I am all wrong, said Amelia Bedelia. She told Mrs. Edwards about the breaking, mir breaking the mirror and her double bad luck. Bad Amelia bad. Bedelia, said Mrs. Edwards, today is my lucky day. Friday the 13th is the perfect day to talk about luck. The class listed lucky and unlucky things. They talked about bad luck and good luck. They were all kinds of questions. Superstitions, bad luck, good luck. Mrs. Edwards told the class a story. When I was your age, she said, one saying really scared me. It was, step on a crack, break your mother's back. That's terrible, said Amelia Bedelia. But it isn't true, said Mrs. Edwards. Just like breaking a mirror isn't bad luck. Breaking a mirror is bad luck, said Clay. It's bad luck for the mirror, everyone laughed. Amelia Bedelia laughed Dad, hardest Dad. of all. She felt a lot better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad, Dad. As Amelia Bedelia was walking home, she saw a crack on the sidewalk. Bad luck, ha, huh, she said. She stepped on the crack. She stepped on every crack she saw. When she spied the biggest one of all, Amelia Bedelia stomped on it. Then Amelia Bedelia turned yeah. onto her street and she stopped in her tracks. Uh-oh. There was an ambulance in front of her house. 
God. Amelia Bedelia raced home. Breaking the mirror was an accident, but she had stepped on all on those cracks on purpose. Mom! yelled Amelia Bedelia. I didn't mean to break your back. The ambulance was pulling away. Mom! Help! cried Amelia Bedelia. Mom! <laughs> Mom! Mm -hmm. Amelia Bedelia, said her mother. I'm with Mrs. Adams, sweetie. Amelia Bedelia whirled around. Her mom was with their neighbor. Her back was fine. Amelia Bedelia ran to her mom. She gave her the biggest, longest, strongest hug ever. Ouch, honey, said Amelia Hi. Bedelia's mother. Do you want to break my back? Yeah. No, never, said no. Amelia Bedelia. No. No. You just missed the excitement, said Mrs. Adams. I got a ride home in an ambulance after, after my checkup. Are you okay, asked Amelia Bedelia. I am fine, said Mrs. Adams. Knock on wood. Then Mrs. Adams knocked three times on her porch railing. Tomorrow, Amelia Bedelia would add, knock on wood to the list her class had made. Today, worrying about luck had worn her out. Mm -hmm. Amelia Bedelia thought about her family and her great friends. She thought that the mirror Mrs. Adams gave her was cool. Amelia Bedelia felt like she was the luckiest person in the world. The end. Thank you for watching the reading of Amelia Bedelia Tries Her Luck. Bye bye. My little boy, who is two years old, was part of the video today. Say hi. His name's Trent. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to our page and hit like. And please let me know a book you'd like me to read, and I will try my best to find it and read it for you. Thank you. Bye.